Hi, it's Wayne here from Adreno Brisbane. Today we're going to have a look at a freediving subject, surface protocol. Surface protocol is what a freediver should do, and I'm talking a competition freediver, upon surfacing. He has certain things he must do to get an okay for his, uh, for his dive. So we've got a couple of different bodies running uh, freediving in the world. And uh, for Australia and New Zealand and much of the, uh, the world, the main one is AIDA. Now, AIDA has a certain surface protocol that is in every competition, and it's unvarying. When a diver comes up, he has got three things to do. And the reason he does it is to convince the judge that he's lucid, that he's not unconscious. And we have to run a pretty tight line on this. Why? Because you're dealing with safety. And so we have a line here, if a person can't go through these things, then at that point he's not sharp enough, he's not, uh, he's, he'll be disqualified on the fact that he, he didn't come up with enough oxygen in his system. That's basically what you're looking at. So it really is to convince the judges that you're, you're, you're not too hypoxic to, to be lucid. Okay, so the first step is take off your facial equipment. All right, so the first step, take off the mask. It can be up there or you can take it right off. Okay, now in the pool, People use nose clips, and a lot of them are much more solid than this one, and goggles. Okay, so they do their event looking like this. And when they come up, the first step is get rid of the facial equipment. <laughs> that plus that. That's the first step done. This is for depth and pull. Sometimes divers in depth will have goggles like this with lenses inside here and they fill the goggles with water to stop them compressing against the face and that allows them to, to go down deep. And the lenses are such that they can focus quite easily on the rope and on the tag they need to grab at the bottom of the rope. Okay? So very often they come up, once again, goggles and in the ocean, nose clip, and then they go on to the second step. The second step is to give an OK signal. Simple. And the third step is to say, I'm OK. Now, it doesn't matter what language you're dealing with, no matter where the diver's from, when he comes up, he still has to say it in English. And it's either, I am OK, or it's, I'm OK. Nothing else. You can't even just go, okay, or I'm good. <laughs> All good, you know, no, nah, it's not good enough. It has to be those exact things. So this leads you down to a very precise method of showing the judges that, uh, that you're, you're doing fine. You're okay enough to get a, a, a pass on your technique. Now, a little bit more on this, on which direction you'd face. Here we go, this is a tip. You come up for some reason like that, and the judge is there, and you go, I'm okay. Well, you're not, because you actually have to do it to the judge. So you do have to face the judge. Sometimes people come up in lanes a, a little bit further away from the judge. If they came up on the wrong rope here and did it there, and they, you know, no, nah, they have to turn around and face the judge to do the surface protocol. Okay, it doesn't mean they have to look the judge in the eye. There's no prerequisite for exactly. They just have to do it facing or in the direction towards the judge. Now, this is very important for a competition because uh, probably it's one of the most uh, disqualifications come from failure in surface protocol. It's not blackouts or sambas or something. It's just failure in surface protocol. Because it's easy to get to the point where you are hypoxic enough that you're going to get out of the water and even keep your airways out of the water, but too hypoxic to go through those three simple steps. And this is the point the judges have to look for. And uh, the things that 
you're going to see, and which is very important to drill, for example, you come up, he goes to take off the mask and misses it. Or struggles for it. Okay? Or takes off the mask and then goes to look for it again. These little things, a person is actually not with it. Not enough to get a full pass on the performance, his athletic performance. Okay, so mask off, I'm okay. In training, you really, what are you training for? You might be training for spearfishing or, you're, or underwater photography or something like that. Well, that's great, you know. Uh, in training, it's a safety thing to come up and let your dive buddy know you're fine, especially after you've done a, a, a good size swim. So it's a, good, uh, it's a good thing to go through these three things. It gives you something to focus on. And your dive buddy who's looking after your safety, he'll watch you and go, yeah, yeah, he's good. Or he'll go, oh, I'm going to get a bit close. He struggled getting his mask off. And you can be in position to, uh, to help your buddy if he needs it. See, this is a, a smart thinking. However, if you're working on this for a competition thing, you have to have it down. Because you don't have a dive buddy who's just going to snuggle up close to you and hold you up just to, you know, in dive uh, competition diving, your disqualification will happen when your uh, airways go so towards the water that there's no way the diver's going to be held them up and at that time the judge will say, grab him, and the safety divers will grab him, okay? There's, uh, but in, in friend diving, you know, in training with friends, it's a, it's, a different, it's a different story. Everything can be a lot closer and a lot more diver friendly. But competition, we'll go back to competition. When you get to finish your performance, you might be right on the edge. At that point, when you've really drilled it, you'll come up and it will drag you through. How does that translate to, say, a spearfisher? Well, what if he came up? What if he got entangled down the bottom in some line? And he managed to cut himself loose, but now he's maybe 20 metres down there and he's got a fair way to go and it's going to be close. If he has drilled service protocol, he can come up and know he can push himself through even being close. So it's going to be a safer dive no matter what. Of course, he shouldn't be diving alone. He'll have friends with him who'll be able to hold him or support him and things like that. But this is a part of a safety thing that is workable. Okay, in competition free diving, drill it. That is one of the major tips. So it's completely natural. It is the one thing you do invariable. So the idea is when you come up, you get that oxygen into your system fast. Rather than start worrying about that straight away and not worrying about your breath, and some divers even forget to breathe when they first come up. They're so concerned with the service protocol. But get your breath handling. You get some recovery breaths going. That's a, a subject for another entire video. But get your recovery breaths going so that, they, uh, so that the oxygen gets into your blood fast. Once you've got that cracking, then start on your, on your, uh, your, your mask, getting your mask or your... your goggles and nose clip off. So the surface protocol starts the moment you start taking off your mask. At that point, you can't do anything else but go through those motions. So out of order, surface protocol is a disqualification. Adding anything in, mask off, that was tough. I'm okay, no good, or I'm okay, two okay signals. So anything other than the one, two, three is a disqualification. Drill your surface protocol so it is natural and it does help you finish your, your event. Make it spotless every time you do it. Get coached on it so that people can help you through it and then it's gonna work for you. If you don't, you're going to find you're going to run into quite a few disqualifications until you get this down. Do it and win. That's what I say. Wayne from Adreno, all the best.